Right, welcome back to Smithy's Outdoors. Sorry I haven't been posted for a while. Uh, work got in the way. Uh, me girlfriend moved in and bits and bobs. But anyway, I'm back. Hopefully I can wangle the bane with YouTube videos and camping. So basically, I've, uh, what I've done is I've bought myself a knife. Um, I'm going to put my old one away. Well, not me old one away, but gonna put that to one side. Um, and I've bought myself a Castrum number 10 forest knife, Scandinavian grind. Um, I've just literally bought this um, last week. There was a problem with Castrum itself. Um, the website is down at the minute, but you can still buy items off the store obviously you've got to be 18 and over to buy a knife um and a guy from sweden rang us to say we need identification i.e passport driving license um anything what id on to just for your age proof proof of age so i was sitting thinking the other day um what other knives could i buy and I've been looking at the Castrum for a long time um, compared to the TBS bow. Uh, I never got to hold a TBS bow, to be fair. I ended up holding a Castrum in my local gun shop in Newcastle. For all you I don't know, I'm from South Shields, based in Newcastle. Um, so yeah, I held this knife, knife a few months back. Uh, and I f it felt so so light in my hand that i just needed it well well yeah i needed it um so i'll, I'll show you the the knife i'm just getting the specifications up because obviously it's gonna be an um well it'll be an unboxing because i've just literally bought it so yeah so you got a choice in the price i paid for this was 125 pound um it goes up in price from 125 to 165 to 170 i think basically i got the low budget one um it's just the money i had at the minute i'm struggling but yeah so that's the knife um 125 pound you do get a surface uh the warranty of 25 year manufacturer's warranty um and you just can't fault it this is the the first bushcraft knife second bushcraft knife i bought and it, it's come with a warranty um leather sheath it's just unbelievable how well it's made drip hole for for water but yeah um you get a choose on the the belt the the sheath do you want it left hand or right hand i'm right handed so i went with a right handed sheath so I can stick it on the right side of me, me body. Basically, um, you can have it left side, right side. But I didn't know at the time of buying this knife, you, they do a Kydex sheath for £65. Um, so you can have it as a dangler. I'm going to modify this, put a day loop and make my own dangler off a bit of leather. I don't have a dangler to show you, but you might get the just. So basically, I got this knife in oak you can get it in splattered um splattered beach um and kai uh, is it kydex sheath kydex handle uh other bits and bobs i've got i'm, I'm loaded a cold so i got mine in oak scandinavian grind I really love it. It's it's the curvature of the handle to fit the palm is out of this world. It sits so comfortably in your hand. Uh, razor sharp from factory. It's not stainless steel like my other one. Um, can't think of the name. The other one's been ages since I've used it, but it is not stainless steel, so this will rust. 
So basically, there is a um, material you can use to keep it from not rusting once you've used it. Um, it's got black lining in, and I'll go through the specifications. Um, it does, I think it does state in the, um, the man, well, the surface condition that I can keep oil in the handle. But you don't want to oil the handle loads because it will, will become slippy. And when you're using it, you don't want to be cutting yourself through the blade. So I'll just get the specifications up. Sorry, I can't really say it, but you know. Um, then we'll go through what the spec you know what I mean right so I have to keep looking on my iPad because I can't really say it off by heart so it's Scandinavian grind not secondary bevel so the ideal for feather sticks um, batoning because of the length the thickness of the, the steel handle is a oiled oak from suitable forestry sustainable sorry forestry Black liners with brass hardware. So we've got brass iron and the brass hardware. The measurement total of 22 centimetres. That'll be from the tip to the, the butt of the knife. The blade is 103 times 24 by 4 millimetres. So the 4 millimetres will be the thickness of the, the, the spine. The sheath is vegetable tanned. Sheath is vegetable tanned, European leather, cognac brown. Steel is under helm, slimline, non-stainless, 5960 HRC. So, basically, it's one of the top leading brand knives you could probably get in bushcraft. There is a video on YouTube how to maintain the knife. I stopped from rusting um main like maintainers look after the tool. Um and I just can't fault it at all. There is other stuff out there that you can buy to do it, like I WD forty, linseed oil, um other polishes you can get but basically if you take a damp cloth of wd-40 and you just wipe it over once you've used it keeps the rust off but you can get a proper uh, spray to to keep it from rusting when you do the main maintenance on it you've got to do the back of the t uh, the, the spine because all the oils in your hand will basically let it go rusty. So basically, obviously when I felt this in my local gun store, I didn't buy it there and then because I wanted to do, but I didn't because there was another shop in Newcastle, the army shop sell them and I wanted to compare the price. They wanted a hundred and, I think it was a hundred and forty for this, for this. But cast and do it for 125. I'm not bartering on the price. It's I've looked on internet for a few months at them, and I come across 125. I didn't want to spend more than 200 pound. My budget was low, with his having the bane and work getting in the way and all my stuff. I ended up buying a motorbike. Uh, it was a cross I want five YZ. Um, and I spent more time on that than I did my YouTube channel, which I am sorry about. But other than that, I bought the knife, we put it at the field test, and in the next few months, I'll come back and tell you what I really, really thought of it. Um, and also, I'll, I'll put out there that the editing software I use is up, updated itself, so the last... The last um, video I put up saying, stay with us, we're coming back. Uh, it had mucked up or something. So 
obviously I'm going to have to sit down and work that out. But yeah, obviously we'll put this to the test. I, I like the knife. I like the sheath. You can get the wax to keep it the, um, coated so it doesn't rot, doesn't fray. But for all you that want to see the certificate you get comes in yellow paperwork like this you need to keep this authenticity of the knife it says you get 25 year warranty from purchase and any any one that's got the knife i'll put the i'll put the link below of where i got it from and if anyone needs the email address it's on the bottom for your knives yourselves so if i do come to sell this knife i will be keeping the box and the uh, certification and the warranty so yeah i'll not be selling it but we'll go from there i did say one minute be going camping in the next few months round Rothbury I don't think that'll be happening with um with me having the pain so at the minute I'm gonna have to put that on hold but I am thinking of doing a, a solo camp I have been talking about it for months and months and months maybe years of starting YouTube but hopefully I will be doing a solo camp I've heard mixed reports of the scary you love it, you, your mind goes blank and you, you start hallucinating, saying things. And But yeah, you got to bite the bullet and do it, or I'll not do it. Obviously, I keep coming with Josh, but yeah, that's that's totally different. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll come back to you when, when I've put this to the test and the real, the real deal on it. But yeah, stay with us, we are back. It's just finding the time to, to do uploads. Cheers.